Hi, it's Robin from Raincross Farms Makery. Let me show you how to make a super simple, messy bow, also called the refabbed bow. So first of all, you're gonna start out with a variety of ribbons, different widths, different contrasting colors and patterns. And then you are going to measure it out. Now, how long it is depends on how big of a bow you want. So this one is going to be, let's see, let's make this about, let's, let's do about 12 inches. We can always trim it down a little bit. So I'm going to cut uh, at least two of each of each one. If you have a if you have a if you have a certain ribbon that is your favorite, you want to use more of it. Cut a few more strips. Again, all different sizes, all different patterns, all works together. of this one. Set that one aside because that's what I'm going to use to wrap my bow up. And I also have some, just some lace. Okay, so I'm going to gather all these together and then I'm going to start placing them just in a crisscross shape. I try to get one of each going in each different direction, and I'm just kind of stacking them up, making an X. I go from the widest to the thinnest. These want to stick together. There we go. A little bit of, you know what? I'm gonna back up the bus here. I'm gonna put this down first. And just crisscrossing. Doesn't ha it's not an exact science, as long as you get them crisscrossed. Okay, now I've got it like that. I'm going to take this piece of ribbon that I cut. I could also use just some twine or some jute, or I could also use a pipe cleaner. And I'm going to put that right over there and I'm gonna flip the whole thing over. And then I'm going to scrunch this up and I'm going to tie that off tightly. And you can see where it's going. So I kind of fluff these out, rearrange them so my different colors are peeking through. And you can see already I have a cute little bow that would look great on a wreath or on a piece of decor. Now I can also go through and I can dovetail all of my edges. I could do it first, but I never know if I want to trim something a little bit shorter but you can certainly do it, do the trimming first. See like this one, I'm gonna cut it a little bit shorter. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna turn that to an edge. So I just go completely through and I have a cute little darling bow. So enjoy yourselves, take pictures of your products and let me see them. I actually made another one to show you what it looks like all finished. Isn't it cute? Don't forget to follow us at Raincross Farms Makery on Facebook and YouTube.